Hey, my love, it's your girl, Sheik, in the building. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. It is my pleasure to meet you. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I cannot believe I've been on this journey for 15 months now on my GLP-1 journey. So I have not done an update in a while. Your girl, Sheik, has been in my A for a little minute, <laughs> but we back. We back. So I wanted to come give y'all a little update and, you know, give y'all the tea on what's been going on with your girl. You feel me? So let's talk about it, y'all. If you're just now meeting me, let me get you caught up. Okay. So your girl, she started on semaglutide. I lost 40 pounds over about a time period of six months. And then I switched to terzepatide. Then I've lost about another 40 pounds. I am down still 79.2 pounds. So I am just coming to give y'all this update. Y'all, if you're new to my channel, please don't hesitate to go get caught up on all my videos. Okay. They are there for y'all to watch. I share like my whole entire journey. I talk about like we'll see because I have added that. To my GLP-1 journey along with terzepatide. Let me slow down. I'm out of breath, y'all. So where we left off was I've lost a grand total of 79.2 pounds. And I was kind of torn as to whether or not I was going to go ahead and dose up to 15 milligrams. You feel me? Your girl, I don't know what it is, y'all. But your girl has not been feeling that dosing up to 15 milligrams. Like, I've literally been like, really? hesitant about dosing up to 15 milligrams like i've been doing fine i've gotten so used to 12.5 milligrams but i'm not going anywhere with it okay like i've been at a standstill but i've gotten so comfortable with that dose you feel me but it's gotten to the point where i've been at a standstill i've been on this dose for a good two to three months or so and it is time y'all i know it is okay so i gotta have a little moment with myself and really pep myself up to go on and do it you feel me so i've been a little bu 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 chicken <laughs> to go ahead and get it you know get things going so we can keep journeying the journey kind of went been at a <laughs> standstill we parked for a minute for a little bit you feel me so yeah, we ain't been going nowhere doing nothing. <laughs> I have not been like hungry, but as far as food noise, this time because I've been on this dose for so long, I am experiencing a little bit more food noise. Still not eating large portions. Okay, so that is a very good thing. I'm not like going crazy and I'm not, I have craved a little bit of chocolate but nothing too crazy like i had like um you know how you get the double like the two twix in the pack so um i just ate one okay and that was it like i ain't wanted nothing sweet i've been doing good there since like it's crazy because this entire journey sweets have been like the devil to me i have not wanted sweets it kind of make me cringe. Like, I don't know. Are y'all like that on your journeys? Some of y'all probably have not even began your journeys yet, but are you like that when it comes to sweets? Like, yuck. like, um, pancakes. Ooh, I never want pancakes because they require syrup. I don't be wanting Popeye's biscuits. If I have Popeye's, I'll eat a piece of chicken, one piece, and I'll eat a few spoons of red beans and rice, but I will not. I will not eat that biscuit. And that was my weakness. You couldn't tell me nothing about not eating some bread. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in my room. So, yeah, I'm actually in my room. Like a lot of times when I do my update videos, I'll be in my little bathroom, which is up there. But I'm in my room today. I actually just got back from getting something to eat. I had a taste for some hot chicken tenders, 
chicken fingers or whatever different bars and stuff they call them different things but i wanted some hot chicken fingers or hot chicken tenders and when i say they were gigantic on they were these things were like this big like this y'all like i'm talking about like this i ate every bit of one and I mean, I guess that's a good thing that I'm not going crazy. Like I'm not like going overboard with the eating, you know, like I still have self-control, not too much food noise, but definitely more than I had before. Like before I wouldn't really even get hungry. I would forget to eat because like I would get lost in the doing tasks and, you know, um, doing stuff on a computer, working my little part-time job, things like that. Um, filming, you know, doing content creation, doing my Amazon on-site commissions, videos for my storefront. Um, I'd be lost in doing everything, but worrying about eating to the point where like I would forget to eat. And that's another thing y'all that I want to talk about. If you do not eat enough on this journey, your body will begin to store fat and you do not want that. So I think several times throughout my journey when I stalled, that was my problem, okay? That was my number one problem, okay? Because your girl wasn't thinking about eating and what I would eat, I was eating like a bird. Like right now, it's, t it's very small still, but especially I would say around months, around months four through 10, I was eating like, I was eating really tiny amounts, y'all. Like, trust me when I see this. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> you heard me? But yeah, y'all. So, make sure you take it in your protein because that's very important. But do you know most of the time I actually crave protein? I can't go crazy on protein drinks. I do love me a protein coffee. I don't drink them daily like I used to at one point, but um, I still got to show y'all how I make my protein coffee. It is yummy to my tummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd love to hear about how y'all journeys are going. Let your girl know down below in the comments. Ask me any questions as well. As far as lipo seagulls, um, let me show y'all real quick. Like I have on a little waist trainer under here, but um, as far as like my stomach, y'all, let me step back a little bit, but look at this. The lipo C is definitely helping to get my tummy down. I do still have to tighten up a bunch of loose skin and stuff like that, y'all, but your girl is happy. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> No, your girl is so happy. Like, I'm thrilled. Like, I couldn't be happier. Like I said, this journey had its highs and lows. It still has its highs and lows. And expect that on your journey, but embrace it all. You feel me? Like, really. Seriously, though. Embrace the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because you're going to learn a lot. You're going to make adjustments. You definitely have to get used to change. If you're a person that don't like change, I'm here to tell you, sorry for ya, because you're going to have to get used to change. There's going to be a whole lot of change going down on this journey. So, yeah, get used to that. <laughs> Unless you're going to have a real rude awakening throughout this process. And you don't want that, okay? And trust the process, okay? Don't rush it along. If you're on a dose, do not titrate up if it's working. There's no need. To titrate up every four weeks if a dose is working and that's why i'm just now getting to 15 milligrams and i still have not done 15 milligrams just yet and so yeah y'all we're we gonna have to do what we gotta do we're gonna have to y'all i'm gonna stop being a chicken i'm gonna have to suck it up i'm gonna have to be strong <laughs> but yeah so um, I want to share something. So y'all, I was really wanting to get out the house. I hadn't been doing a whole lot. Biggest is finally getting up out of triple digits and I wanted to get out the house yesterday. So I went to Ross. I'm going to show y'all too. 
the little pieces I grabbed. But I had no idea. Like, I'm used to ordering everything online. Like, this whole thing here come from Shein. This is a, like a little tank, but it's a built-in bra in here. Okay? And yes, um, I am busty. I am a 34D now. Like, I was like a 38 double D when I started. But now I'm a 34D. Okay? Um... So I have to talk to y'all about this. So I go on Ross. I have no idea where to start. I absolutely hate fitting rooms. I do not like going into dressing rooms for nothing. It could be because I battle autoimmune illness, myasthenia gravis, rheumatoid arthritis, CIDP. Um, anybody else out there suffer from autoimmune disease or any type of chronic illnesses or anything like that? Y'all, ain't nobody trying to be up all up in that dressing room doing up all of that like who got energy for that? Like, not me. Not this one right here. So, yeah, I wasn't feeling that. I tried to talk myself into it before I even walked in there. Like, we're going to go in this fitting room. But, uh, baby child, that did not work. So, did not happen. So, I went on to browsing, looking around at Ross. I used to swear by Ross. It's been so long since I've been in Ross to get anything. So as far as like stores, department stores, any type of clothing stores, any type of stores with the clothing department, Target, Walmart, I have no clue what sizes to be purchasing, not even to even think about getting, you know? So um, I start looking. I have no idea like what size to get. I'm eyeing everything to the point where I'm putting pieces up to me. Because like, for instance, y'all, this is my port. If y'all don't know, I call it my button. But that I haven't had to get a, I haven't had to get a treatment or an infusion um, or plasma phoresis or anything like that in a good minute. Um, but that's what that, this port right here is for. Okay. It's a power port and um, MRIs and all kinds of stuff can be done through it. But yeah, like when your um, veins are bad and stuff like that, that's. Or you end up getting a port. And then especially if you have chemotherapeutic treatments. And I did. Um, you need that. So that's why I got a port, y'all. And what I hate. Things that you can become a little bit insecure about or uncomfortable with. You will have to experience and deal with on this journey. So this is something for me that I tend to have to. Um, I don't know. I don't be wanting to gross people out and stuff. But y'all is there. And I'm like, and I'm busty, but before when I was like a 38 double D, it hid, like you barely could see it, like barely at all. And now that I've gotten so small, like, nah, it's there, like, ah, in your face. <laughs> so anyway, this right here is from Shein. From Shein, I've learned that if it's a petite, I can deal with a small, as far as the regular, clothes and stuff like that um it tends to be if it's like a sweatsuit like this it needs to be an extra small because number one the pants would be too like super long and they're gonna fit my legs somewhere different than they would fit someone who's taller you know their body and so i tend to have to size down and they don't even make some of the sweatsuits in the extra small but this is a petite no i lie this is not a petite i lie i lie i lie this is a small and this just worked out. But like most of the jogging suits and joggers and things like that, I have to get extra small. Pajama pants, I've I got smalls and like the little ones that look like lamb or whatever you want to call them, the little fuzzy furry ones. Um, I'd be like, grr, you know? <laughs> Your girl be like, grr. But I got smalls. Um, those are petite, those are petite. But for some reason, they make those gigantic. So I'm walking around in these huge, wide leg, furry pants, looking like somebody's grizzly. Okay. <laughs> looking like a bear, a straight bear. Y'all see how I, I get away from it. Let me, let me come back to the topic that we discussing. So anyway, I'm in Ross, have no idea what size to get. I just start looking and I go and say, let me just look at the jeans. Yo, I don't know. There's some lint flying by my light. Um, but so I go look at the jeans and I'm like looking. And the last time I went up in there, 
I had got a size nine, I believe, but it's been a, a good while, y'all. That was like, that was maybe at least six months ago in my journey, uh, longer. Um, so I go over there, I'm looking, nines look too big. I knew I didn't wear no 11. I knew I didn't wear no nine no more because that was the last size jeans I purchased. And this is in juniors. Um, I usually prefer juniors. Like when I go somewhere like Ross, I generally um, prefer juniors. And so <laughs> I'm looking, the sevens look too big. So I go down a little bit further down the aisle. Lo and behold, the fives kind of still looking too big. So I'm like, this can't be, huh? This can't be, yeah? Like, nah, this can't be. I end up down to the size three in juniors. And y'all, I'm still kind of thick. I'm short. I'm still a little thick. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. Show me what you're working with. Yeah, y'all. So that's what your girl is working with. But I'm short. So things that fit somebody that's taller and, you know, slim, they're going to fit me different. So I do be having to like size down, and size down, size down. And juniors, that's regular. Like, a majority of the jeans and stuff I can't buy because the length is going to be too long. And petites, a lot of petites, like in the women's, the missus um, section, mm -mm, mm -mm. we don't be feeling them. They be like, like these I got to pull up here because they're, they're not petite, they're regular. So I got to pull them up kind of high, y'all, because I have a short torso. Everything on me is short, okay? <laughs> Clock it. <laughs> everything on your girl sheet is short i'm looking looking i'm grabbing different stuff different sizes just by eyeing it and looking to see that if i think it fits like if i put it up to me and it looks like two of me can go in there obviously that's a no put it right back on the rack so let me show y'all so your girl picked up this little sweater right here It's got lint on it. <laughs> got a little lint on it. Ain't this cute? Look at the zipper. Got rhinestones. And what size? This is a large in juniors. But of course, it fit every bit like a medium. It's fit like a schmedium for sure. Uh, Y'all. I look like Salinas in this one. I, I still love me some Selena to this day, but I <laughs> look y'all, <laughs> look at these. Okay. You ain't going to be able to tell me that. I'm going to be like, choo, choo. I'm going to be getting it. <laughs> y'all, as y'all can see, your girl is something else. I'm already knowing. I'm like, y'all ain't even got to tell me. <laughs> but I am who I am. Take it or leave it. Y'all going to take me or y'all going to leave me? Don't leave me. But I love these. The little rhinestone detail going down the side. And when I say waist is snatched in these, y'all, I'm going to have to try this stuff on for y'all in another video. Drop it down below in the comments if you want to see me try this stuff on. I paired with that, with the first sweater. I didn't get nothing to go with it just yet. I didn't get nothing to go with that one. But this right here is a medium. But look at this. Ooh, sexy. This is cute, huh? This is super cute. I like this. So, yeah, this is a medium. A medium, and it goes with the pants. And I was trying stuff on like right after I got home because I was like, if I got to take it back. Okay, so these was down about the threes. Okay. And oh, hold on. I forgot to tell y'all the size on these. Let me come back. These right chill. Look at this. I'm going I'm to get closer so y'all, because y'all probably won't believe me. Extra small. Okay. Extra freaking small. And 
they fit like a glove like they fit it but when i say waist is <laughs> Ooh, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing so this right here these are joggers and um these are a uh, three these are size three or 26 okay so look at that and the length just so happened to be perfect with these like the length is perfect i'm 411 by the way 411 and when i left off i was like 115 point something y'all so don't call me on that but yeah yeah i'm about 115 point six 115 point six 115 point something and what we got to go with that those joggers do you know how long it's been since i've worn a sweater i have not owned a sweater in probably eight years but look at this this a medium get a little looky look all right and then lastly because i got three outfits plus a sweater but y'all these right sure i definitely i gotta try this stuff on for y'all because when y'all ain't even gonna believe when i say like snatched mm. but this right here these are a small petite see small petite and the way my waist and my pedicate pedicate the way my waist and my pedicate look up in these woo i love it and then i tried it on with some brown pumps mm. Mm -hmm. and the top i got i tucked it in it's um is this a medium yeah this is a medium so i got this and uh yeah it's really snug it's tight fits like a glove fits like a dream okay so needless to say i held my breath for a little bit i was a little nervous about shopping i had no idea what size to get I still don't know what size I wear. As you can see, out of that pile, uh, mostly everything is different sizes. Not too far off, but it just depends too on a fit of something, a material it's made out of. If it's big bust friendly, if it's uh, you know, you got the tatas, you got a rack, you got a rack on you. You got to make sure that you're gonna be able to get in that thing. So yeah but it turned out to be a good experience i would say <laughs> so i'm really excited about that but as far as continuing on with my journey y'all we're gonna suck it up okay we're gonna clean up and we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen we're gonna go ahead and dose up to that 15 milligrams and we're gonna be on it for a minute like i still have not lost that final 10 ish 15 ish pounds I would say since I left off at 115, uh, y'all, I, I don't believe I've gained too much or anything like that. I believe I'm still where I was. My appetite has not changed. Um, I weighed myself some days ago and it's been fluctuating by like two or three pounds. But um, as long as um, I'm not experiencing like constipation, um, which means I'm actually eating vegetables, proteins and stuff like I'm supposed to, I'm going to be regular and um i don't have to worry about like additional pounds on the scale because i'm dealing with constipation you got to make sure that your body is recycling and doing what it's supposed to do so make sure you eat what you're supposed to um but yeah so you're going to deal with that too if you already have not the fluctuating so you're not always going to just stay like forever at a certain weight even when you're in maintenance more than likely nine times out of ten but I'm still excited about maintenance, but I'm not rushing nothing. Okay. I'm letting the journey be the journey. I will be updating y'all on this 15 milligrams. I hope I don't feel nauseous. Anybody on 15 milligrams? Anybody already did 15 milligrams? How did you feel? Is there anything, any tips or anything y'all like to give your girl? She, let me know. Please talk to me. Get down below in the comments and talk to your girl. Please follow your girl. She, hey, I'm chic on everything on social media. Okay yeah and then also y'all if you are not subscribed please 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 with a cherry on top please subscribe to my channel 
If you have not already, I hope you will consider joining the tribe. Please, please, por favor, join the tribe. Okay. I need to have you in my life. Your girl, she needs to have you. We are in this together. We are like one big happy family up over here. It's a lot of things that I'm going to have in store for y'all really soon. I've been working on some things I can't tell y'all just yet, but it's coming. It's on the way. Okay. So I'm really super psyched and excited about all of that. But yeah. So you'll have something to look forward to. But yeah, please do subscribe. Sharing is caring. So share with anybody you know who can benefit from this video or my channel altogether. Anything beauty, fashion, lifestyle, weight loss is included in lifestyle. But get them up over here. You feel me? Get them up over this way. <laughs> but yeah, sharing is caring. Like I always tell y'all, please heart this video. Show it some love. Okay? I need to have y'all doing it, helping your girl out because it's not my channel it is our channel i do these videos for y'all okay so i hope you really enjoyed this video drop down below in the comments if y'all want to see me try on those pieces okay and i will i will try them on for y'all because why i love y'all me love y'all big okay my loves your girl chic is going to i might come back and do a video for y'all tomorrow i wasn't even planning on doing this one today but i know that i was behind on actually updating y'all and stuff like that because i was being chicken chicken <laughs> i was being chicken um about dosing up so i've been at a standstill so i was like i don't really have that to really tell y'all but yeah i'm a mouthful now Telling y'all about how much I didn't been a chicken and I ain't been moving forward and going nowhere. I've been remaining stagnant. <laughs> That's one thing, y'all. You got to do stuff. You got to move if you want moves to happen. Okay? Whether it's money moves, whatever, whatever you try to get going, whatever type of journey you try to get going, you got to do your part. And so your girl got to do her part. But y'all, let me know y'all experiences with 15 milligrams. If you're already in maintenance, I'd love to hear about that too because I have yet to reach maintenance, but we getting there, okay? We gonna be there, y'all. So, um, yeah. But do something good for somebody. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Y'all be safe out there. And your girl, Sheik, is gonna catch y'all probably tomorrow again. So, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>